Hello everybody, welcome back to another B-Swarm Simulator test run video. Today I am going to be using a hive full of level 20 gifted diamond bees. Psst! Before we get into this video, I just want to quickly say that only a small percentage of my viewers are subscribed. So if you could just check if you're subscribed real quick, that would help me out a ton. Thanks. Anyway. Let's get back into the video. Also, another quick announcement I want to make. I started up a Discord server, and I'm going to put the link in the description. So if you want to join, feel free to. It's going to be top link in the description. Anyway, so first thing we got to do, like always, we've got to claim the hive, get all the items, all the badges, and then start filling in our hive. And now that we've completely filled up our hive, it's time to use the red cannon. Get up to the 25B zone and start buying out the shop. Boom! Bam! Oh, bop! Bada bop, boom! Pow! Oh! Uh... We've done it! Also, one thing I would just like to quickly point out. The Bucko Bee and the Riley Bee, they still have the trims. On it has not fixed this yet. The Bucko Bee and the Riley Bee still have the trims in the test drum. Like, look at that trim. Look at that trim. Pythagoras Theorem trim. Trigonometry trim. So now we're gonna instant convert. We're gonna get the test drum buffs. We're gonna realize we haven't filled in our hive yet, so we're not gonna make our bees level 20 and gifted. And we're gonna start filling in our hive with diamond bees. So now that we've finally filled in our hive, it's time to, first of all, make our bees level 20 and gifted. We're gonna get the tester on buffs. We're gonna claim our amulets. Boom. Get the tide popper, since this is a blue hive. Get the bubble mask. Get the pedal belt. Then the crimson and cobalt guards. Then while we're here, we can't forget to quickly get the supreme saturator. Then we're gonna come up here and use a night bell to make it nighttime. Then we're gonna do this parkour easily because we are the best parkours in Roblox. Like, look at that. Look at how professional I am at parkour. Wait, no. Would you look at that? We made it first try. Diamond mask. And then to progress any further, we're gonna need to kill the coconut crab. So we're gonna use our nectar booster, a super smoothie, jump in the field, use a stinger, and watch my diamond bees destroy the coconut crab. They're actually doing a lot. They're actually killing it a lot faster than I thought they would. I thought they would kill it really slowly since they're blue bees. That one just got a super crit. Oh, they're actually getting quite a lot of super crits. And it's already dead. That was a surprisingly quick battle. Coconut clogs, coconut canister. Then we swap out the clogs for the gummy boots because I only needed the clogs for their passive ability. And now that we have everything set up, it's time to do some farming. Sprinkler builder. Gumdrops, coconuts, microconverters, honeysuckles on, jelly beans, clouds, boxer frogs, enter the field, sprinkler down, glitter, loaded dice, loaded dice again, loaded dice again, and we got it. Auto gumdrops, auto coconuts, cloud, 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 boxer frogs, jelly beans, speed this up, soul, because we are about to go crazy. Oh, we've got over a hundred million honey per second. The diamond bees only produce blue booster tokens. However, they are very good at just manually farming.
clouds, 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 clouds. Another box frog. Yo, we're making 160 millisecond. It's like consistent 130 plus now. What is this? Wait, diamond bees are actually OP. They're so underrated. Anyways, I feel like we've seen just how good diamond bees are at farming. They are actually a lot better than I expected for only having one ability token that actually affects farming. But anyway, yeah, so they are very, very good for farming. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Also, like I said earlier, I've started up a Discord. It'll be in the top link in the description. So if you want to join, I will probably host a bunch of stuff in there where I'll get my viewers to like be part of my videos so yeah if you want to join feel free to anyways that's going to be it for today guys see you in the next video bye